so welcome back dear students last class we have seen that some of the basics of your moment area method and how to calculate the how to calculate the deflection using moment area method for a gravity load now we are going to see the deflection due to pre stressing forces that is for different types of tendons or different profile of tendons how uh, the uh, deflection is actually calculated so first case we will move with a pre stressing with straight tendon that is you are having a beam with eccentricity e throughout throughout the length of the section it is having eccentricity e so if i draw i'm having a beam like this with an eccentricity e throughout the tendons so if i if i draw the bending moment diagram due to this eccentricity suppose the force acting is p it is going to deflect like this due to the pre stressing force there is a constant bending moment that is p into e this is causing a bending and that bending moment is there will be a bending moment p into e throughout the bending moment will be acting and this is a hogging moment so i will denote it by the bending moment diagram by negative sign negative sign so now if i draw the elastic deflection curve due to this bending moment it is going to bend in the upward direction which means it means the beam is going to bend in this way it is going to bend in this way and this will be the maximum deflection and the deflection is in the upward direction deflection is upward that's why we will take it as negative usually the downward deflection will take it as positive and upward deflection will take it as negative now now we have the deflection diagram so based on the bend uh, moment area method you can find the deflection at this point suppose this is a and this is b then i am drawing a tangent at this point then the deflection i can calculate with respect to bending moment diagram that is bending moment diagram is p into e divided by ei will give you the m by ei diagram m by ei diagram so once you know the m by ei diagram you simply need to find the def, in order to find the deflection you just need to just need to find the first moment of area that is delta is equal to moment of the area that is b into h into b by 2 that is your general equation here b is what b is we are finding exactly at the mid section that is if this is having span l this is having span l then b is equal to l by 2 we are taking l by 2 that is l by 2 into h is the height that is p into e into e by i into l by 2 that is l by 2 divided by 2 that is l by 4 so this value you will get it as p e l square by h e i so due to a straight pre stressing force you will get the value for delta as p e l square by a t i and that will be negative because we are representing it is an upward deflection so you will get the delta in this way that is due to pre stressing force there will be a camber occurring and that camber value is p e l square by a t i now we'll move on to the second case that is pre stressing with trapezoidal tendons you have the you have the tendon in this form that is you have two two change points one over here and the profile that is going straight then another over here at the ends you have eccentricity as zero you have eccentricity here zero and at the mid section you have eccentricity equal to say e so due to this due to this the bending moment diagram due to the pre stressing force will be equivalent to the profile of this cable so if i am drawing this bending moment diagram we draw the bending moment diagram it will be like this then straight like this that is this value i will be having this is equivalent to this value is equal to p into e and this is zero the bending moment diagram where you get this is a b and d and this is going to deflect in the upward direction that is hogging moment will be there that is will be negative will be noted by negative and the deflected shape will be in the form of up upward camber deflected shape will be a form of an upward camber like this so this value is the maximum delta value so according to the mohr's theorem delta is equal to the area under m by ei diagram that is if we divide this the second figure by ei i will get m by ei diagram that is p by ei is this ordinate 
and the deflection at this point is equal to the second moment of area up to of this particular area the second moment of area of this particular area that is I will get this value as I will divide this into two triangles I will divide this for the easiness of calculation I will divide this into two that is first one delta A for the first one I will calculate the moment, first moment of area for the first figure and second figure <coughs> before that I will represent this distance by a general term I will represent this distance by a general term so say this distance is L1 and this distance is L2 this distance is L2 then I can write the total deflection is equal to the area of the first figure that is I have 1 by 2 into PE divided by EI into L1 into 2 by 3 L1 that is the centroid of this distance is at 2 by 3 of L1 plus L1 that is PE by EI into L2 into the centroidal distance that is L1 plus L2 by 2 so solving this rearranging and solving this you will get the value for your delta as PE by 6 EI into 2 L1 square plus 6 L1 L2 plus 3 L2 square so the deflection and this deflection will be upwards so basically you need to understand what do you mean how to find the deflection using your moment area method once you are clear with that it's very easy so the next case we are going to see is pre-stressing or uh, pre-stressing cable with parabolic tendon that is we'll draw and see you have a parabolic tendon like this and force p at the center you have the eccentricity e so the bending moment diagram equivalent uh, to your uh, profile will be this will be bmd that is negative and this value will be p into e and the deflected shape in the upward direction that is your elastic deflected shape you will be having an upward deflection in this direction and this is delta so if i if i want to find the value for delta that is you need to find the area under the deflected shape that is sorry area first moment of area of your m by ei diagram that is you need to find this area moment of this area so I need to draw, uh, I need to get my M by EI diagram that is your M by EI diagram means you need to divide it by your flexural rigidity that is P by EI that is your ordinate so the deflection at this point I can get it as this I will write as bending moment due to E this is the deflected shape due to E I can write my deflection delta is equal to delta is equal to 2 by 3 bh into 5 by 8 of 5 by 8 of from here to here this distance is the uh, centroid will be somewhere here this distance is if I am taking this distance as L by 2 up to here up to here this is 5 by up to here it is 5 by 8 of L by 2 so the total this is area that is 2 by 3 into b I can take it as L by 2, 2 by 3 B into H, H is P into E by EI into 5 by 8 of 5 by 8 of L by 2, that is L by 2. Solving this, you will get this value as delta due to this pre stressing force as 5 P E L square by 48 EI and in the upward direction, in the upward direction. So, this value for delta you will get equivalent to uh, uh, deflection due to a UDL but it will be in the upper direction that is 5 PEL square by 48 EI. Now you will see the next case that is pre-stressing with parabolic tendons that is eccentric angles. There will be eccentricity at the ends as well as there will be eccentricity at the midsection. You have your eccentricity this way that is you have an eccentricity say E2 over here and an eccentricity E1 at this distance. The load is applied like this. So what I do here is I will divide this beam into two two types and I will superimpose the deflection or the bending moment diagram. The first bending moment diagram will be I will consider this as uh, this P force is creating a total eccentricity at the center. I can call it as what this distance is. This eccentricity is E2. So the total eccentricity I can call it as E1 plus E2 that is causing a deflection a deflected shape 
equivalent to a parabola having e1 plus e2 as the total height so the deflection due uh, or the bending moment diagram due to that will be the bending moment diagram due to that will be like this this is the bmd and that value will be a negative that is this is causing this value is p into e1 plus e2 this is the upward deflection due to eccentricity e1 plus e2 at center and zero at the support we'll assume that this is having an eccentricity e1 plus e2 at the mid span at mid span and zero at support now if i subtract another beam having eccentricity e2 above the mid span, above the center, uh, neutral axis then and superimposing these two i will get the equivalent this equivalent one right so that is now i am now, now i am having i am drawing the bmd for an constant eccentricity e2 this is constant eccentricity e2 then my deflected or the, sorry b, bending moment diagram will be like this that is this is like this and that is having a bending moment p into e2 now you know you need to know that when i am applying a eccentricity above this neutral axis this is having an eccentricity above the neutral axis the e here is above neutral axis it is going to bend in this way that is sagging will occur there will be sagging occurring so i will take the sagging moment as positive this bending moment will be positive and here since we are having an eccentricity at this point we are having an eccentricity e2 plus e1 there will be a hogging moment that's why we are taken as negative now superimposing these two i will get the i will get the value for my deflection because the deflection produce this due to this will be due to this will be in this form that is it will be definitely hoggy because that is a pre-stressing force so it is going to cause an elastic deflection deformation shape like this elastic deformation shape like this and delta is a delta so in order to calculate delta i need to superimpose the first one that is i will assume this is having an eccentricity e1 plus e2 at the center and zero at the support and it is causing an hogging moment and the bending moment diagram corresponding to that we have drawn in superimposed by another eccentricity e2 which is constant throughout so superimposing these two first of all i need to draw the m by ei diagram that is m by ei diagram dividing this by ei i will get the m by ei diagram similarly dividing by ei this is m by ei i will get the Ben, uh, m by ei diagram so delta i could take it as the resultant deflection i can take take it as the resultant deflection that is the algebraic sum of this is causing an upward deflection and the second one is causing a downward deflection because i can say that this e1 plus e2 is causing an upward deflection and this constant e is causing a downward deflection the net deflection i'll call it as delta which is due to these two so if i if i write this i can i can take it as the first area this area the moment of second moment of area of this area and we'll get this as minus plus the moment of area of up to this portion so I know the center of this and once I calculate these values I will get delta is equal to the first for the first figure that is 2 by 3 into B is L by 2 for both cases B is L by 2 that is B L by 2 into P into E1 plus E2 by EI into 5 by 8 of L by 2 this is this is a upward deflection so i'll denote it by negative plus a downward deflection that is due to a constant p into e e2 that is i'll take it as the area that is l by 2 into p e2 by ei acting at l2 sorry acting at l by 2 by 2 so solving this i will get the value for my delta as p l square by 48 ei into 
minus 5 e1 plus e2 so once you have understood this you don't need to derive this during your examination but you need to find the value for the delta due to this so i hope you have understood we will see some more cases based on this understanding now we have another another case that is pre-stressing with sloping tendons before it was parabolic tendon having e2 here and e1 here now this is sloping tendons having or a straight uh, linearly varying profile having e2 or eccentricity over here and e1 here so again i will apply the same concept i will divide this into two that is e1 plus e2 at the center which is causing a bending moment diagram this way and then constant eccentricity e2 which is causing a bending moment diagram this way solving the same way that is did finding the deflection due to this bending moment diagram that is we will divide it by bm bmd e, e, m by ei diagram and pe2 by ei diagram superimposing these two you will get the total deflection at this point as pl square by 24 ei into minus 2 e1 plus e2 similarly you could see the next one that is pre-stressing with parabolic and straight profile that is you have some portion of this portion as parabolic and this portion straight and again this parabolic so we will get a bending moment diagram similar to the uh, cable profile that is it will be parabolic up to here and a straight profile up to here so what i will do is i will divide this into two portions one over here and the other over here and i will find the value for your delta and you will get the value for delta in this way the next one is parabolic and straight tendons but eccentric angles at the end similar way you can do and you will get the value like this so it's we don't need to buy her these values once you are clear with the area moment area method you could derive any values and don't get afraid of the uh, equation if you have having numerical values it will be very easy for you to find the value for the deflection once you know the concept so that's that's for today's class Next class we will see the long term deflection and afterwards we will solve some numericals. Thank you.